Check it out. How's it going guys? This is Brantley with New Dimensions and today I'm going to take you through our warm-up that we do every day in class here. This is also a warm-up that I do before any sport or exercise. So first thing I want you to do, get those feet about shoulder width apart. I want you to be able to feel the ground with those three points of contact in the foot, bring those hips up underneath you, be nice and tall from the back of the head and the neck, and I want you to take a deep breath expanding the lungs. So in and out. I like to start with two to three breaths and then I begin reaching. So I pull one arm back and the other arm forward and we're just going to go back and forth through here in and out of this position and I want you to maintain that deep breath. Just in and out, waking everything up. And then we can begin to lock in the hips and this starts to engage those slings a bit more. So in and out of this position, still maintaining that deep breath. Then we're going to start getting into the sides of the body. So I have the hands on my hips and I want to drive those hips side to side, pushing those hips outside of my center of gravity, just in and out through here. As that becomes comfortable, you're going to take that deep breath, reach up over the top, opening up the side of the body again, then come back down over to the other side. So we're just going to go in and out of this position, back and forth. Good reach. And then if you want to load it more, you can step across in and out of this position. I'll turn around here too so you can see how I'm stepping across the body, deep breath, opening up, bring it back down, deep breath, bring it back down. Normally about five to seven on each side. From there, we're going to hinge over at the waist. So what I want you to do is drive your hips back, feel the tension in the back of your legs. And what I'm going to do here is shift my hips to one direction as I reach in the opposite. I'm going to go back and forth through here, making sure my back is nice and flat and then I'm gonna roll my body up. So I'm gonna go knees forward, hips tuck underneath, chest toward the sky as I take that deep inhale, and I bring myself back down. So we're loading the back of the legs, and as I continue with that load, I'm gonna shift from left to right, back and forth, in and out of this position, and then I wanna open up the front of the body. So the knees go forward, the hips tuck underneath, the chest reaches toward the sky with that deep breath, and I bring myself back down. Now I go through three of these, back and forth, in and out, nice and smooth, continuing with that deep breath, rolling up, knee, hip, and chest. Then this leads us into our unilateral stance, or that staggered stance, and we can get into the hinge on one side. So what I want you to do with the hinge, it's always from the hip, just like we did in this last one. So you're gonna drive the hip back, I'm gonna load the tension in the back of this right leg. I'm gonna Take this right arm behind me, then I'm gonna go knee, hip, chest, as I toe tap the opposite foot forward, opening up the front of the body, then I swing back down into this position and drive up again. So you notice this is all from the hip. My knee stays in a soft position. I don't need to straighten it all the way out, and I certainly don't wanna bend it down here and get into a lunge. I wanna remain up nice and tall and make sure I have that flat back. Now I'll also show you from this position, you can see how the upper body begins to rotate in and out of this position. So I'm loading into that glute, then driving on up, back and forth. And we switch on over to the other side. Anywhere from five to seven reps is great. Now we're gonna get into our lunge. So let me show you what this looks like from this back view. I'm gonna start with my left foot forward, stacked over top of my left side, and I'm gonna step into my right, loading, and then I'm gonna drive myself back out. So I step in and back out. And you'll notice I take a small step through here. Just my normal step that I would do as I'm walking, then I drop down into that lunge. If we step too far, you're gonna get more of a stretch on your hip capsule into this hip flexor for one, but we're not gonna be able to activate the glute the way that we would like. So I want you to have that small step loading, bringing yourself back. And I tell everyone, reach for something, grab it and pull it in. So this connects the upper body to the lower body as you're going in and out of this position. And as you become more advanced and you wanna start exploring more movement, this is when we can add some swim moves in there. So what we do is we reach down, swim like we're grabbing water, and come back. So if I think I'm gonna grab this water, push it, come down, and back. So I'm now I'm starting to add these leans into it and it becomes quite fluid and smooth as I go in and out of this position. About five to seven reps again, then switch on over to the other side. From there, we head down into the world's greatest stretch. So what I wanna do from this position, I'm gonna step my right foot up to my right hand. 
and I'm going to take this left arm, reach under, excuse me, the right arm, reach under my left and open up toward the ceiling while keeping the inside of this right foot down. It's going to want to come off the ground because you're loading this glute as you're opening on up and you swing down in and out. I do this for three reps. Then I switch on over to my other side, right foot back, left foot to the outside of the left hand, left arm reaches under the right. And then I open on up toward the ceiling. Now, as I'm in this position, I'm also getting a good hip flexor stretch on this side. So you can let that hip drop down, the chest come up, the eyes come up and just move in and out to what's comfortable. If this is too much tension for you, drop this knee in the back. You can still be in this position through here and you can open up, get good thoracic spine rotation and also a good stretch and load to mobilize this hip. I go three, three reps on each side through there. So three sets of three, and then I stay into that position and we're going to get into the hip flexors. So with that right knee being down, what we're going to do is roll the hips up underneath. So I feel the tension in this right hip. Now I can shift forward a bit, but as I shift, I want to make sure that I don't lose that position and this starts to arch in the low back. I need to keep those hips rolled underneath me. So I think about the tailbone driving down the pubic bone going up and activating these deep abdominal muscles. From there, I can shift forward, raise my arm up in the air and then bring myself back. So deep breath. So this is a great way to get the quad and the hip flexors as it comes up into the stomach. And from there, I can start to go sideways as well. So let me show you what this looks like. As I shift forward, I'm going to drive my hips to the right and my upper body to the left. Going forward, drive big reach and bring it on back down. And then from there, we'll stand on up. And this is when we're going to start mobilizing the hip, making sure that the foot is awake as well. So what we're going to do is have those three points of contact in the foot, the inside ball, of the foot, outside ball, of the foot and the heel. I'm going to start with my hands on my hips and I'm going to turn my belly button to the right. Then I'm going to open up my back leg and roll my hips underneath me. So let me show you from a different angle here. I'm going to go right, open up, slide and roll those hips underneath. So as I'm going in and out of this position here, I'm loading my glutes. I'm putting a stretch on them. And then as I come up underneath, I'm getting into those adductors and your adductors and glutes act like a pulley system as one contracts. The other eccentrically loads or opens and in and out. So if your glutes are stuck, your adductors are likely stuck as well. So being able to get in and out of this position is great. So same thing over on the other side. Then I step out to an angle. And when I step on this lateral lunge, I'm going to line up my foot, knee, hip and chest. Same thing. I want to get those hips moving back and forth. My butt drives back. Then I roll my hips underneath, keeping all of my weight on the inside of the right. I'm going to go back and forth through here in and out, making sure my hips and feet are working. Then I start adding in a little swing to get a little more rotation in this upper body. Good reach through here with that T spine and you can swing back and forth like this as well. All right. Then the last one you're going to do is open up at a diagonal back at an angle. And this is when you can really drive and feel the tension and the pressure through the inside of the right foot and load this adductor. So sink back, Roll the hips underneath in and out of this position, waking up these adductors from adductor all the way out the left pec back and forth through here. Nice and smooth. Add your reaches, add your swing as you go in and out. Do the same thing on that left side. Then we can start to get into our flow so we can put this all together. And when we do this, it's a three step flow. It's a little difficult to get off the start, but once you find the rhythm, it's nice and smooth. And what you do is you step in, you do that out position and then in, and you pull yourself back to reset over to the other side. So you're going back and forth through here. Let me show you what this looks like from this angle. I step in, go out in. I pull myself back, which sets me up for my other side out in, pull myself back. Then that allows me to go out to the outside from my lunge out to the left. Then I'll open up back at an angle and open back up at another angle. So I'll go back and forth through here and run through this three times. So let me show you what this looks like at full speed and taking in the breath as well. So we flow.
back and forth using your breath to create space within the spine. This is an excellent way to get the body warmed up. Like I said, this is something that we do before every class here. This is something I personally do before every training session, before I surf, do any type of exercise at all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check it out.